guys so it is raining extremely bad i am about to try to get this video out <laughs> before we're sitting here with no power i have to get this video out so this is our june's budget you guys seen me cl close out may's budget wasn't very much to tell you guys i went a little crazy in may and i am trying to get back on task as far as my budget um it's 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 been a lot so we're gonna get into june's budget and i promise you after this i i'm not gonna lie and say i'm not gonna spend no money but it won't be what i spent for these last couple of months because trying to take care of my niece's graduation and then an impromptu for my son because i had to take care of some things for my son has been crazy so let's talk about it um june's budget my total income for june and you'll see it over here is three thousand nine hundred and thirty nine dollars now granted our income is more but we 50 50 around here and i know what y'all be saying <laughs> if a man can't pay my bills i don't wanna that's you boo but i like to feel like i'm contributing to my household as well and it makes sense in our home and our marriage is happy. Worry about yourself. So <laughs> I just be having to put that out there because these 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 new thinking women, that's your business. Do what you do. Don't come for mine because we good over here. Um, but our the the income I have for this month, and that's with babe already giving his portion on the bills, is three thousand nine hundred and thirty-nine dollars. The total bills and expenses is $2,529.83. The debt that has to be paid, which is my debt, is $233. Leftover is $27. Where this $27 is, I don't know. But that, according to my calculation, it is $27 left over after all this is taken care of. So let's get into it. Rent, $1,001. Just energy. My light bill went up. And it's because it's the summertime and I know it, but... It went up two, and you got to think about it. I am cooling off. It's one AC unit cooling off a two story home. So that was $223. Xfinity mobile was $469. Um, Xfinity internet was 86. I had tried T-Mobile and within 24 hours, I called Xfinity back and said, Brent, Hey, I'm coming home. You don't have to worry about me ever again, leaving you. That was a lapse of judgment on my part. I'm sorry. And I took T-Mobile's equipment back to them because, huh, I had never seen no internet run that slow. I got 20 devices in my home to have T-Mobile. So yeah, we're back. We're back with Xfinity. Um, center point, $56. Canva, 14. I, I have to have Canva. I use it for my editing. I use it to do flyers, invitations. I have to have it. So I pay that, which I am thinking maybe next year I'll go annual. So I won't have to do number pay it once a month. But right now that's not in the budget um car insurance no 194 dollars capital one 25 capital one silver 25 capital one sword 25 mission lane 25 venture 25 another mission lane card 25 you probably like why are these credit cards because baby i had to jump on these credit cards to take care of stuff that needed to be taken care of in this house because if i would have been thinking properly I probably wouldn't have had to buy no more cameras, but maybe I needed to have my own cameras because I was using the Xfinity cameras. But for some reason, when I decided I didn't want to go full with Xfinity no more, my cameras wouldn't work no more with Xfinity that I had. So I just went and invested in some brand new cameras for my house, which is fine because I love these cameras. But if I would have, sometimes you put yourself, sometimes I move so fast and without thinking stuff through. And when I do that, I cost myself more money than I should. And I ended up costing myself more money than I should. Don't get me wrong. I had been thinking about making a move to these cameras already. So I'm glad that I did. And I did get a yearly subscription that monitors my cameras 24 seven. It has the alarm thing on it and everything. It was really cheap. 129. I'm cool with that. But the cameras were $136 altogether. Plus the 129 for the uh, subscription service to monitor the cameras. Um, YouTube, $22 vacation i'm putting some on our vacation 64 dollars after pay 58 dollars myself i'm not paying myself nothing but 75 dollars this month because i've done some shopping i just bought some shoes i just bought two pair of shoes four things of perfume 
she will not be buying anything for herself in the month of June. I can hold off. I can make it. Okay. And I probably buy me some lip gloss because I got to buy something. It's giving something, <laughs> but it's going to be within the $75. Um, what else? Apple Watch is $11. Now, why am I paying for my Apple Watch when I don't even have my Apple Watch? My daughter has my Apple Watch, but I'm paying for an Apple Watch that I'm not even wearing because my Samsung watch is paid for. Um, June's rent is $800 in the Fire Stick because we have uh, the hookup on the Fire Stick. It gives us cable around our whole house, so we don't pay for cable because we I pay for it, but I don't pay for it. I have a little hookup on my Fire Sticks that's jailbroken. I pay $14.98 a month, so we good. But, um, yeah, that is what that is as far as the budget. The to-do list. I need to put something on a vacation, pay on after pay, and then pay on sizzle. Oh, because I do have sizzle. Um, I think it's $65. But that's not coming out of my June's budget. That'll already be paid. So I don't even know why I have that on there. Because that'll be paid by the, by the end of uh, May coming up. So we're two days shy of June. So that'll be paid already by the time y'all see this video. My goal is to save... Also, minimal eating out. For June, we already said we're not really eating out just because between June the 1st and June the 3rd, we're celebrating my niece's graduation. So we're already going to be eating out um, two days. So we're not going to be spending money eating, up, eating out afterwards because we've taken, during my niece's graduation, we've already blowed that budget. Um, low buys is going to be the lowest buy ever, which technically I don't need anything because <laughs> I always say that, y'all. I mean, I always say, oh, I don't need nothing, but I go buy something. But I really don't need anything because I just bought four perfumes. I just bought those. I know y'all are going to be like, it's so ghetto, but I don't care. I love them. Those black and white. Oh, it's flooding. I'm looking at I-45 by my house, and it's flooded. The streets are flooded. I'm watching my TV. Okay, but I bought these black and white panda dunks that I have been wanting. They the low top. I'm still going to get the high top, but the low tops was looking cute on my feet too. So I bought them, but I am probably going to go in the end of June, maybe July and go get the high top ones. Cause I love a black and white dunk. You prepare with anything, denim, black and white, whatever, red, you prepare it. It's going to look cute. Um, so I'm not going to be buying anything. I'm really, I really am on a low buy. So savings and sinking funds. So the personal savings is 800. I plan on saving 800 in that for this month. Um, the emergency fund will be $100 this month, and then the car fund will be $50. So altogether, we'll be saving $950. Now, the goal is to still try to at least save $1,000 altogether, but $950, as long as I save that, because that's the intention, then I'm okay. If I can come up with the extra $50 from somewhere off the clutch, that's great too, but I'm not going to stress myself out because I don't know where I'm going to pull it from. <laughs> but... The goal is to at least save that 950 because that is what the standard is. So yeah, we are going to see what um what the end of the month is looking like. Let's see if there's anything I need to run by you guys. I don't think it is. I think my to-do list is the same. Uh yeah, my to-do list is the same. Y'all know we, I'm not doing the ones and fives challenge anymore. I just don't have the time. Um, let me see. Where is my to-dos? Oh, they're my to-do list. So you'll see the to-do list up here as well. Um, I still have not gotten a bathroom rug. I still have not got the suitcase. I still have not got a bedroom rug. We can cross off grad decor because I've finished that. I've gotten that. We are ready to go come Saturday. The only thing we have to do is pick up the meat because my husband's barbecuing that Saturday. That's the only, oh, the meat and the cake. So we got to pick the cake up Saturday, the meat up Friday. But for the most part, we have taken care of that. And I'm very proud of the progress we made with that. Very proud. So we can scratch that off. So the only thing left to do, which I probably won't do till July, is buy a bathroom, new bathroom rugs. At least try to start looking at different suitcase and buy a bedroom rug. I'm not, like I said before, I'm not trying to do the big excessive rug in the bedroom. I'm okay with doing the small rugs on each side of the bed. So I'll see just how we're feeling when that time comes. But for right now, that's not so important to us right now. So yeah, 
I am gonna get out of here. That is the rundown of June's budget. Y'all, I be trying to make these budget videos as short as possible. If there's any changes, I'll bring them to you. Um, I did open up a third account. Okay, so hear me out. I have an account for my bills and anything that's left over from that account goes into the savings that's connected to the bills account. And then I have my capital one account which is a spending account or it's for like uh, it's for my personal spending and then i have the car fund on there in the emergency fund on there and then i have my frost account which is um for my per car purchasing fund see that i have a car fund let me explain to you guys the car fund that I have with Capital One is for like maintenance work, things like that that need to be done. The purchasing car fund, that's my Frost account, is for me to buy my car because I'm just trying to save up to pay cash for a car. But I also have that as my um, spending money, my personal spending. I have an account with them with, for my personal spending money as well. So, yeah, just a new account. Just trying to figure it all out. That is the thing about learning your budget. You, you get to figure it out. You get to see what works for you. And I think having these three separate accounts works for me. One account for bills. One account for entertainment and things that we like to do or whatever. And then my personal spending account. So, yeah, I think it works out fine. Um, other than that, there is nothing. Oh, I, am I lying to you? I feel like I'm lying to y'all. Am I lying to y'all? I think I am. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Because my shells account is my bills account. My frost account is my um, um, entertainment account. And my capital one is my personal spending money account. So, yes, I was lying to y'all. So, yeah, that's what we got going on right now. And I think that works for me. I think having those three accounts works uh, specifically for what I have going on in my life and what, what I need to do. And it helps us save for those special occasions like my cross account. We know. All right. So I'm going to get out of here. I will see you guys in the next video. We will at the end of the month recap on how i did and y'all know i'm gonna keep it real with y'all and be honest with y'all but we will recap how i did for the month of june i can't wait to share that with you guys i pray that i stick to this progress i pray that i stick to this budget y'all pray for me too because i'm really really trying these are the confessions of a shopaholic i swear they are so y'all i will see you guys in the next video remember to think smart spend smarter and have fun planning it all out and i'll see you in the next one peace